Well, thank you, everybody. Uh, good morning and, uh, and welcome. It, uh, I know it's been a while since we've uh, kind of gathered together at a, uh, an event like this, and uh, it's nice to feel a little bit, a little bit normal. Um, but we know that today is actually not a normal day. Uh, and so I would like to uh, start, uh, before we get started, uh, that we observe a, a moment of silence uh, in honor of the, the victims of 9-11. Of uh, because again, while we're here to, uh, to talk about something uh, you know, very exciting, uh, we don't want to lose, lose sight uh, of the meaning of today. So if we would please uh, just observe a moment of silence. All right, thank you everybody, and thank you again for being here. Uh, today, uh, we are celebrating the, the grand opening of the new Santa Clarita Bike Park. Uh, thank you, Diane, absolutely, thank you. Uh, and and I, I, you can tell we haven't had this event in, a while, an event in a while because we have everybody here. I think people are excited to have an opportunity to come out and. Uh, and celebrate a little bit. So first I wanna acknowledge uh, my colleagues on the council. We've got Mayor Pro Tem uh, Bill Miranda and council members Bob Keller, Lorene West and Marsha McClain. Uh, and certainly we, we, we know this and I know our, our staff isn't always, they always don't like to be uh, recognized, but we know that uh, it's the work from our, our city staff uh, that really makes uh, this happen. And so we do want to acknowledge uh, our city manager, Ken Striplin, uh, our assistant city manager, Frank Oviedo, uh, certainly our director of public works, Robert Newman. Robert's here, I know. Uh, Darren Hernandez from Neighborhood Services. Uh, Janine Prado from our Parks and Recreation and Community Services. Uh, also, we have some of our commissioners uh, here, Diana Boone. I said Diana. Uh, Don Cruikshank, Don Kieran Wong, and Commissioner Victor Lindenheim. I know they're all here, all of our park commissioners that have worked hard. Uh, also representing uh, some of our uh, state legislative partners, we've got uh, Tammy Stevens from Congressman Mike Garcia's office. Thank you, Tammy. Uh, this is from Senator Scott Wilkes office, Chris Huff. And from Assemblymember Christy Smith's office, uh, Andrew Taban. Andrew. Thank you. Also, uh, do want to introduce uh, our chief of police is here as well, uh, Justin Diaz. Justin, thank you for being here. All right, we got a few more here. We've got a manager from, and you'll hear more from them a little bit later, but uh, representing Trek Bicycles, our, their Saga store, uh, Alistair Frazier is here. Alistair, thank you. <clears throat> and of course, representing the SCV Bike Coalition, Nina Moskal. So in just a few minutes, we will do the ceremonial ribbon cutting for this new bike park, uh, which will be open to the public as of noon today. Uh, but first I thought uh, would, sorry about that, get to my notes. Uh, the bike park has been a project uh, that members of the community have been advocating for years. Uh, and certainly those of us on the council and the commission uh, can acknowledge that uh, has been a, a long, uh, effort and a long time coming. Uh, though the, sky, the skate park is just down from the hill, just down the hill and offers uh, amenities and obstacles for bike riders to do tricks, the city's open space offers thousands of acres of trails. Uh, but before today, there was not a place dedicated solely to the bike riders of Santa Clarita. Uh, over the past few weeks, we've watched the seven acre site transform from really just a brush covered hill uh, to a park where people of all ages and skill levels uh, can come and ride, practice their jumps, develop skills for both mountain biking and BMX. Uh, there are a number of amenities that you will see uh, and that you'll find throughout the park, including several single track mountain bike trails, 
Uh, these trails are called flow lines in range and difficulty uh, from green, which is easy, or, diff or black, which is difficult, similar to uh, if you're a snow skier or you know, a snowboarder. Uh, there's also a pump track featuring, featuring 330 yards of a combination jumps, including step up, step downs, rollers, and tabletops. Uh, this track was designed by Dane Heron, uh, who also designed tracks for the X Games, the London Olympics, and Red Bull events, just to name a few. Uh, so we as a city are thrilled to open up this new bike park uh, and know that it will be a place for generation of riders to come uh, and hone their skills for competition, try something new, uh, or as a place just to get some exercise or uh, get out from, particularly our young people uh, who are stuck in their distance learning uh, and have an opportunity to come out uh, and get some exercise uh, and enjoy uh, this amenity. Uh, the park will be open from dawn until dusk. Uh, and so certainly, as you can imagine, in the summer months in particular, uh, those are many, many hours of opportunity for people to, to come out and enjoy. Uh, cycling in Santa Clarita continues to grow, uh, and we will continue to support our community of riders. This bike park would not be here today without the input uh, and partnerships of our community as well as our corporate partners. And that's uh, not a surprise. I think Santa Clarita uh, has a long history and really sets a standard for public and private partnerships and community involvement. Uh, and this bike park here is just the latest example. The passion and de determination and dedication of those who have advocated for this park and their love of the sport has really led uh, to this final day here today in the opening. Mountain biking is also growing uh, in popularity uh, as you know, Santa Cruz is, is really well known for uh, the Tour of California, uh, which is more of the road racing style. Uh, but as you see, if anybody tries to go purchase a bike, uh, certainly since the pandemic, uh, that is almost, it is almost impossible to find. Uh, and, and so uh, recognizing that and wanting to be at the forefront uh, of this movement, uh, we wanted to continue with uh, our support uh, and thanks to the growing presence of one of the most recognized bike manufacturers in the world. Trek Bicycle has long had a presence here in Santa Clarita uh, with its research and development lab located right here in the city, which I bet many people were not aware. Uh, in addition, the Trek store on Railroad Avenue offers road bikes and cruisers. And actually coming soon to the former El Presidente uh, location on Bouquet Canyon, uh, there will be a new dedicated Trek mountain bike shop. Joining Trek is also another local company, uh, Fast House, uh, which is uh, long engaged in mountain biking. Uh, and they, they are the purveyor, they call themselves the purveyor of good times. Uh, and I think can't have a better mission statement than that. Uh, and they will also be selling products at the new Trek store. Uh, so not only uh, is their presence a uh, plus for bike riders, but the popularity of products uh, calls for and results in an economic support uh, for our community and our local economy. Uh, the city has worked closely with Trek and we hope to, out, to soon announce an even a new, even more exciting uh, partnership in the next few weeks. Stay tuned. Uh, so at this time, uh, I'd like to invite up Alistair uh, Frazier from uh, Trek, and the new, and he's going to be the manager of the new Trek Bicycle Store in Saugus, uh, to come on up and say a few words. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I just want to say I'm super excited to to see this here. It's it's uh, it's been it's been a few weeks since I last visited. I really got to applaud the the foresight of uh, of all the stakeholders in this um, of this city for making this happen. If I'd have had this when I was a kid, I tell you it would be a different story. Um, so I'm I'm with Trek. Uh, I've I've been with the company just a little time, uh, and we got a new store opening up in uh, in one week's time on on Wednesday. But while this store is new, uh, we've been in the community a, a, a year with the with the new hall store. And, uh, and almost 14 years with, with Jose, the, for those of you who know Jose, and his team with the Suspension Development Center. Um, Santa Clarita seems to be the perfect location for us, for, for R&D, and that's why we've been here so long. You can ride every day of the year. It's beautiful out here. The hills are amazing. 
um, I can just see the, the amount of growth we're gonna see over the next few years, and we wanna be here to support that. So we've got some, we've got some exciting things that we're, we're alluding to in, in the pipeline, and that's coming from, from Trek Corporate, but at the store as well, um, I want us to be a center for hospitality, for cycling in the area. With our, with our partners, Fast House, we've got, we've got the space to do it, both indoors and outdoors, um, and we've got partnerships so people can come in, ride bikes, but they can come in and hang out and, and we can build a community there. We'll also be doing a lot, bringing the van to support e events and efforts here at the bike park. So I really just want to thank everybody for the opportunity to, to, to do that. We open in just under a week, so come down and see us and uh, hopefully I can show you some of that hospitality. Thank you. All right, thank you, Alistair. Uh, and now, uh, someone that, uh, again, has been a, uh, a, a leader and a great partner with the city uh, as we promote all of our bike-friendly events, uh, Nina Moskal. Nina, come on up. Thank you. I'm so honored to be here today, and I cannot even express how excited I am that this project has come to fruition. We have been working uh, in the community, Chris Gabois over here, myself, and a number of people, Ken Raleigh, people with the SCV Trail Users Group, to come out here and build something for our city that is dedicated in a way that develops cycling for our youth, our families in a safe environment. Um, so it's sound, and it's, if you can take a listen for a second, you might just hear the generator over my shoulder, but you don't hear any traffic. So here is a place where we're gonna be able to do a lot of building of cycling skills. So we're really excited about this. And to have it built by a top-notch builder and have room here to develop and grow for additional programming is absolutely fantastic. So everybody should take a big round of applause for themselves to making this happen because we've been asking this, for this for, for many, many years. And uh, I'm really excited, you know, I'm, I'm titillated to hear what Alistair's got coming in the next couple of weeks. Also, we've got the city's non-motorized bicycle plan coming out within the next couple of weeks for approval that handles the entire city, including our on-street cycling. So we're, we're just super excited to, to have this happen. And thank you to our community for putting in all the effort and all the work into our city for making this dream a reality. Thank you. All right, thank you, Nina. Uh, just uh, before we get to, um, we have some of our elected officials here that, and representatives. I, I do want to uh, acknowledge uh, a few other, uh, few other people. And uh, you know, first, you know, he's in the back there, but he's he kind of hiding. But uh, Nelson Vasquez has been. Uh, you know, this is his. This is his first big project. So uh, we want to thank Nelson for uh, you know, basically living here on site for the last month. Um, you know, that generator is actually for his tent that uh, <laughs> he's been really practicing social distancing. And, uh, you know, but uh, again, we want to thank Nelson for, and his team for uh, all their work on this. And uh, he's probably aware that his next project here, uh, kind of the center area in between, uh, that's going to be our next phase. Uh, and that's going to be a more dedicated BMX uh, track. Uh, and, and so uh, that's going to add, <clears throat> excuse me, that'll add to the amenities here. Uh, and uh, it'll fill in kind of the gap there. So, uh, so we're not done. Uh, and that's what's so exciting about this with uh, the property and the size we have. Uh, we still have work to do and we're looking forward to uh, putting that together. So first, uh, I do want to invite up a few of our representatives, uh, Tammy Stevens uh, from Congressman Mike Garcia's office. Good morning, thank you for having me. Um, I just would like to, on behalf of Congressman Garcia, thank the city and all the folks that were involved in this project. It's a wonderful addition to our community. As parents, we know how important it is to have places like this to plug our kids in, for especially in outdoor activities. So this is just another layer of the wonderful amenities of our city, and we thank you. And on behalf of the Congressman, I'd like to present the certificate. Come. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks. All right. All right, so 
Chris and Andrew, you guys got the got the, now you guys. Tammy was the the guinea pig here, so now you guys kind of how we got to do it. All right, Chris Huff from Senator Scott Wilkes' office. Chris, come on up. Sorry, Cameron, I wasn't paying attention. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> good morning, everybody. It's so good to see you. Yay! I'm t I just I sit in my office all by myself, but nobody to visit, and it's so nice to be out and see everybody. It's a beautiful day somewhere under this smoke. I guarantee you. Anyway, this is amazing and a bit terrifying, if I want to be honest. I I'm. I don't think my bike is going to make it up one of those little hills, but I'm sure there are many kids and adults that are going to absolutely love this. So uh, I'm here and honored to represent State Senator Scott Wilk. I um, spoke to him this morning. He said, please pass on again to the city of Santa Clarita and city council that he is so proud of this city for always putting the community first and continuing to push through on projects like this so easy in the state we're in to kind of let things go and it's so nice to have this project move move forward so um, on behalf of state senator scott wilk uh, congratulations on this project and thank you city of santa clarita and uh, can i get the city council in this picture is that possible or am i breaking the rules could you sure. push your mask over your nose? <laughs> 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 so come on. <laughs> You'll do anything. Anything. Come on, Bob. Anything. Come on, Bob. Get Marsh Gale, sorry. All right, and also uh, bringing up Andrew Tabon from Assemblymember Christy Smith's office. Good. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it is a pleasure to be here on behalf of Assemblywoman Christy Smith. Um, and it's a pleasure to be out of the office for a day. Uh, really, on just on behalf of the office and to the to the city council, it is amazing that af in the midst of everything going on in in just our state alone and in the city and our country, that we continue to really keep our promise to our city and our residents. And for many of the reasons why we move here, but, uh, amazing amenities, things for our youth, and it's just beautiful to continue seeing that grow. And I really look forward to the continuing project. So, on behalf of our office, congratulations and um, photo time. <laughs> You know, I think one of the some of the comments that were made by our our, our representatives really, you know, is is a reminder of uh, you know the, there really isn't many better places under our current uh, you know restrictions by the state and county uh, than the bike park. Uh, it is something that you do individually. Uh, you're going to be uh, wearing a helmet and a mask. Uh, it's a you're outside. You can social distance, uh, and, and so the timing of this. Uh, could not have been, uh, you know, been better uh, given the, the the challenges that we're facing throughout uh, throughout the state and country. So uh, again, just another great opportunity for all of our uh, residents to uh, to enjoy, uh, even in in spite of the restrictions on it that are currently in place by the state and county. Uh, so along, I know I mentioned Nelson, but I do want to mention. Uh, a few other folks uh, that uh, helped make this uh, this event happen. Uh, we also, uh, along with Nelson, we had Jess Albrecht uh, from our staff also who played a, a big role in, in putting this together as well. So I wanted to recognize, uh, recognize Jess. All right, well, the time has come, um, not for me to be on a bike, but uh, 
You know, I couldn't ride a bike till I was 10 years old. Uh, so now I'm going to start going through my therapy session of that. But uh, so anyways, uh, I want to thank again everybody for uh, for being here. Uh, everyone who had a hand in making this happen. Uh, and quickly, as you, as you realize, this was done within, what, five weeks, six weeks? You know, I mean, from once we to once ground started, once we broke ground, we were able to move very quickly on this. Uh, and, and that's what's so exciting. So we look forward to uh, the continued expansion of the bike park. Uh, we know this is going to be used uh, by many generations uh, from you know, grandparents to grandkids uh, who all enjoy biking and, and mountain biking and BMXing. Uh, and so we're very excited to uh, get this going and, and I'll stop talking uh, so then we can actually uh, cut the ribbon.